What up guys, Mad Scientist 7890 here, back again with MVP Shear on Skype, again, for another one of these discussion videos that we've been talking about doing, so we decided we're going to do them, uh, quite a few ideas that we had planned out here on these videos, so, um, you know, this one right here is, is interesting, because of Brock Lesnar returning, because of The Rock signing another deal with WWE, Chris Jericho being around, uh, signing another deal too as well, um, what could be possibly the biggest and best dream match or best match possible for the coming up WrestleMania um, a year from now? Um, you know, we talked about it, kind of went over. There's probably maybe seven, eight different combinations of matches you could have at WrestleMania. That would be pretty huge. But um, we're going to go into, you know, the ones that we think would be the best. Or, I mean, do you want to say best quality or just biggest draw? Like, what do you think? I just think biggest draw, you know, after doing Rock Cena, I, I think, you know, the company is really looking for just, like, dream-style matches. I'm a huge fan of dream matches, and like you said, there are, like, seven, eight, nine different combinations of guys you could put together, and just all of them would just be good to have under the WrestleMania moniker. Mm. Like, all of them would be fucking fantastic. If they did a couple of them, it'd be even better, so... Yeah. Let's get right into it. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, if you're thinking about draw, I'm going to give you two. Um, one for the draw and one for the quality. Um, for the after, you know, the, the draw, I think, could draw just as much or maybe even better than Roxena. I could say, you know, obviously obviously what we saw in Raw, um, you know, Brock Lesnar versus John Cena, but they might, you know, set it up for SummerSlam possibly instead of WrestleMania. Like you said before, you're looking at you know the the biggest draw for WWE in the last ten years, compared to the biggest draw for UFC in the last ten years. Um, you know, it, it, the drawing power of both guys in a match in a main event at WrestleMania um, could shatter anything UFC or WrestleMania has ever done. I think it's possible, but you know, who knows? I don't know if they they wait. Um, they want to do another dream match with Cena. A build up like that again it'd just be really kind of forced I think but you know it, it's to be seen and then the next one I think for the quality um, I really think CM Punk and, and, and Stone Cold could have a really quality match I think I think Stone Cold is, you know said he could get back in there in the ring and have a couple more matches I think that's definitely possible he never officially retired um, so you know going in there and having a match against like Punk I, I think Punk would, would make him work and I think it would be a really interesting, I think, story in the ring, and and that's where I would you know really, really enjoy out of that. But what do you think about this, Mr. MVP Sheer? I don't know. With that match there, I just want to say that I think it'd just be kind of like Rock Cena in terms of match quality, and that you know I think Stone Cold's even more worn down, or not even not you know I think it's it's obvious he's probably more worn down than The Rock is. And I just don't know if Stone Cold could hold a match of that quality together for a prolonged period of time. Um, you know, there's so many of them. It, there's, you know, <clears throat> there's a thought if Shawn Michaels is coming back, you know, he could face Triple H, he could face The Rock in a match that nobody's ever seen that I really want to see. They'd have a triple threat with him and Undertaker and Triple H, you know, just in that whole entire thing there. There's obviously Lesnar Cena. There's obviously, you know, another Cena Rock match. There's obviously a Cena Taker match. I'm gonna give you one though. I'm gonna give you Lesnar versus Taker, and I think if they built this up properly, because Lesnar is going to—it's it's not like Cena Rock, where Cena only had, or where Rock only had one match, you know, before he had his match against Cena. They've got Lesnar for a prolonged period of time, for a year. He's gonna work about 30 dates. I don't know how many of this he's gonna wrestle. He's probably gonna wrestle about five or six pay-per-view matches. I think you put him in there with Cena. At, you know, say SummerSlam or something, you put him in there against The Rock at Survivor Series, you could have him face a Triple H or somebody at, you know, um, a Royal Rumble, you could have him face CM Punk in there somewhere. I would have him, honestly, and I know this might look bad in that, you know, a UFC guy is going over all the WWE guys, making UFC better than WWE. i put him over all those guys. I'd have him go on some kind of, you know, maybe not undefeated streak, but he just destroys everyone, whether he wins or loses. If he loses, he destroys them afterwards. Hmm. And, you know, to really get over the fact that he might possibly danger the streak of The Undertaker. And I think that that match would do huge buys if that happened. I think, you know, people have wanted to see it since Undertaker and Brock had the confrontation after the UFC show when Undertaker was getting interviewed. So, um, you know, I think it'd be pretty huge. 
I also think Lesnar and Cena, if they wanted to hold off till WrestleMania, would be mega huge, just because of the fact that supposedly Lesnar hated Cena back when he first wrestled in the company. That's came out now, so you know, if they still despise each other, that's even more bad blood than probably Cena and The Rock. So I'm, I'm interested in a lot of different possibilities of what they can do. I think I heard the rumored card could possibly be Rock Cena too. Steve Austin versus CM Punk and Lesnar versus Taker. They can have all three of those next year if they really wanted to. Hmm. Well, I'm going to throw this out here. Uh, from what happened at, at this year at Mania with, with the Taker and, and Triple H um, and, and that whole setup, you know, I, I think I think you got to, I think honestly, you got you got to rule, you got to rule Taker and you got you to gotta rule Triple H out. And I think Shawn Michaels too. I, re- I really, I would love to see Shawn versus The Rock. That's a that's a mega dream match of mine. But I think you got to rule those three guys out. I think those guys are done. I really think those guys are done. I think th- what you're looking at is a combination of Rock, Brock, Cena, Stone Cold Punk, some, somewhere in there. I think Stone Cold could come back and do a match. But I think the three guys at WrestleMania and that Hell in the Cell, I think they're done. I think, th- you know, there's no... I really don't think there's going to be one another match with Taker. I just, to me, it just does. It, from the from the way the match looked, I went back and rewatched it, and you know, it, it just came off to me that it was it that they, that they're done. You know, all all three guys are done. You know, at least for the wrestling. Well, Sean's been done, but Triple H, Undertaker, are are done. It really looked like that, and really that's what the way it came off. But you never know. WWE pulls ribs at at you every once in a while, so who knows? But you know, I think the, that if if if, if Taker is is, is going to do more matches, I think the the biggest one they could do to me would be would be Taker and Cena, and that's the one people have been asking for for years, um, and that'd be the other one that I think could really be huge. Um, could you even see other people, other guys, possibly? Now, now this is a long shot, um, but I still have it in my mind, and I still have that edge probably didn't want his last match to be against Del Rio and the possibility of maybe having Edge in a match against like I, I don't know it's not as high as some of the other ones but Edge maybe against Christian or, or Edge against you know somebody else in one last match do you really think that's a possibility I don't think that would main event or even necessarily be a dream match and the fact that we've we've already seen it um, you know, I know we saw it like 10 years ago. I, I still would have loved to see it again. I was actually hoping for that match at WrestleMania this year before, you know, Edge obviously had the retirement. And my column right after WrestleMania 27 where I put the WrestleMania 28 dream card together, that was the match that was on there. Um, but I, 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 it wouldn't be as high on my list. Just the two names of those guys, as popular as Edge is, probably as Christian is, they're not. Neither of those guys are on any of the level of the wrestlers we just named off. Um, so I don't see it being near as big as those matches. I don't see it being the best possible match they could do. I also disagree that I, I don't think Taker's done. I think if Taker was done, they would have made a bigger deal about it. And they would have announced something about this was going to be Taker's last match, win or lose. I just think they have to do that. Well, or they else they said end of up. an era. They basically said end of an era. They said it, yeah, they did. They said it was the end of an era, but I just, I, I think, I don't think that means it's the end of Taker's era, though. I think they would make it a bigger deal. I think he could possibly lose the streak before, you know, he's done, before he's finished, to Cena or somebody like that. Another match we didn't actually name off, but they've actually had a little war on Twitter, so I could see it happening. And it was a match that should have happened in 03, but Stone Cold didn't want to do it on a random Raw or SmackDown. Brock Lesnar and Stone Cold. Now, this is kind of, to me, is kind of like The Rock and Brock. Like, I mean, I, it's a match that it's, it's two guys who, you know, have been out of the business for a long time. I don't know why, what, you know, putting them together would really accomplish besides for a huge buy rate. But it is a match I would be interested in. I mean, it's, it's you know, Stone Cold's one of the biggest stars ever. P- probably second behind Hogan. He's probably right ahead of Rock. And, you know, Brock Lesnar is the biggest, you know, transitional crossover guy into, like, MMA. So, I mean, there's a huge thing there, you know. I'm pretty sure Stone Cold's a pretty big fan of MMA, too. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's, there's, so many, there's so many different things that can go with this. Bringing back all these guys opens up so many more dream matches because they've been away for such a long time that, you know, putting them in there with almost anybody would feel new and refreshing right now, which is good for WWE. I still think they should build up, 
you know, new stars and stuff, but, you know, that's whatever. Another match I'll name in the same vein of Edge and Christian. I don't know if it'd be a main event, like, caliber dream match, but a match I've always really wanted to see and would have a guilty pleasure for is John Cena and Daniel Bryan. And, you know, I know we just did the video of, you know, how over Bryan is and, and, you know, all that stuff he's mad over. I think if this happened in a WrestleMania, the crowd would be nuts for it, especially the smart crowd. I think for, for, for how over they were for him for the Raw, you know, which is basically the same WrestleMania crowd in Miami, I, I mean, they were louder for him than they were for Cena Rock. Do you think that, you know, Cena Bryan could get a better reaction out of a smart crowd like that? I think at this year's WrestleMania, I think they could have got. I think they could have got a better reaction than than Cena Rock. Honestly, it sounds really crazy to say that, but I think I it think does. I never thought that, but uh, you know, and, and we have another guy we hadn't even mentioned who you know I guess you consider could consider now a dream match guy with a lot of guys they have now, Chris Jericho. I mean, some of the matches he could have, even though he's had matches with Rock, he's had matches with Cena, he's had all these matches before. Um, you know, it's interesting to see right now where they're at in their career if they were to have another match against each other and see how that would work. I don't see Chris Jericho against any of these guys being a, a giant draw, but, you know, I will I say be this. There, there's, there's one match I've wanted to see for a long time. It was also on my list that I wanted to see at this year's WrestleMania that didn't happen. Chris Jericho and Undertaker. I've just always wanted to see them in a marquee WrestleMania match. I've just always thought that would be a good pairing i've always thought they could tell a pretty good story in the ring i'm not it, it wouldn't be as big as a lot of the matches we've announced but it's, it's something i would love to see someday although i don't think we ever will plus i think chris jericho's new contract expires somewhere around the time around SummerSlam. i guess after SummerSlam. so i have no idea if he's even going to be at next year's wrestlemania he could be out touring with fozzy he could be I don't know, doing another Dancing with the Stars. You never know with Chris Jericho. I, I'm not certain he's actually going to be on the card. Hmm. So, you it's never know. So, never yeah. Know. Um, so, we got a lot of interesting uh, matchups here. Uh, don't really know what's going to happen. Uh, like I said, there's so much stuff going on right now. There's so many different guys coming back and this and that. We didn't even mention Batista. I don't even know if you would consider him maybe a dream match guy. But that's, I mean, yeah. that, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's another thing you could throw in there, you know. To a pause a possibility but let us know what you guys think here for the you know what what is what do you guys think could be the biggest match or biggest i don't even want to say dream match just biggest match possible they can have at wrestlemania uh next year or at all at wrestlemania because there's there's so many different possibilities that could be floating around right now it seems like those matches are going to be the big big draw for these manias coming up so um who knows what we're going to see here um so we're going to get out of here. This is uh, for MVP Shear. I'm the Mad Scientist, and this is RSTS Express Wrestling, and we're going to get out of here. Deuces.